Shall we Ken Ken? My name is Will Shorts. I'm the crossword editor of the New York Times. I'm here to tell you about a terrific new puzzle that I'm addicted to called Ken Ken. A little over a year ago, a colleague brought me this puzzle from Japan. After I had done several, I asked if he would leave me this Japanese book of puzzles, and that's when I became completely addicted to it. The rules for Ken Ken are very simple. The object is to complete the grid with digits so that no digit is repeated in any row or column. In addition, the digits within each heavily outlined box will combine arithmetically to make the number in the corner of the box. Now this is a three by three puzzle that uses addition only, so it's the easiest kind of puzzle. First, uh, this is a one by one box, so, uh, and it has to add up to three, so it has to be the digit three. Now this uh, two by one area has to add up to three. There are only two digits that can do that, which are one and two. We don't yet know the order. Let's move along. These two squares go together to make five, and they have to be a two and a three in some order. We know, however, that the three doesn't go here because it would repeat the three that we've already filled in the grid. So instead, it has to go here and the two by elimination must go here. Again, down here, the two can't go in this square because we already have a two in this column. So the one has to go here, the two must go here. In this column, we have a two and a three. We still need to fill in a one. These two squares add up to three. We have a three, one, and it has to be a two. And now in the final column, we need two digits making four, which will be one and three. And in order not to duplicate in any row, they must go in this order. So voila, we've solved our first Ken Ken puzzle.